It's Forever Bengals here. Uh, I just want to tell you something that makes me feel good. The Cincinnati Bengals have an opportunity to sweep both the NFC North and the AFC North this year. I'm not sure if that's ever been done. Uh, it's an opportunity, mind you. It hasn't happened yet. And the Vikings do pose a, you know, they pose a significant challenge. However, the way we've been play calling is we've been playing calling to our strengths and to the defense's weaknesses. One of our main strengths that we've been playing at was running the ball. We have an offensive line that can create holes and we have running backs that punish safeties and linebackers when they try to make the stop. Um, but uh, yeah, all we have to do is beat the Lions and the Vikings. That's it. We beat those two teams then we would have swept the AFC North and the NFC North. So basically, you can say, out of the North, Cincinnati is number one this year. Uh, another thing that makes me feel pretty good is we have an opportunity to secure the second round, uh, well, a first round bye uh, and the second seed in the playoffs. We have an opportunity to secure that. If we win the next three games, we will have, actually, if we win the next three games, we secure the AFC North. If we win the next four games, we secure the se uh, second round uh the second seed in the playoffs and a first round bye. So these next four games, Lions, Vikings, Chargers, and Chiefs, we win those next four games, we secure it. Now, if we happen to drop to the Vikings, no big deal. We can still get the uh, second seed, but we'll need a little help to get it. If we drop to the, uh, drop to the Chargers, that's where it gets really dicey. That's where we would need the most help. We would need the Chargers to wind up losing two games in order for us to get it. Not uh, they would uh, we couldn't get by with them uh, just losing and us having a tying record. We need to have a better overall season record in order to beat them uh, and have the uh, the second round by. So well, the first round by and the second seed in the playoffs. So keep keep this in mind, fellow Bengal fans. In the event that the Colts lose their matchup after the wild card, that team would have to come to Cincinnati for the AFC Championship game. So we would actually have, the, uh, our two games would be the uh, divisional round where we, played a, uh, we play a wild card team or we play a divisional team who happens to win it. We get the higher seed. And then the... Um, if that the next team happens to be the Colts, then that team would have uh, whatever team that was has to come to Cincinnati. Now, in the event that you know the Colts and Cincinnati take care of business, we all know that Cincinnati has to go to Indianapolis to play, and we'll see how that pans out because the Colts do play better in their dome than they do in Cincinnati or in, uh, on the road in the playoffs, mainly because it's cold outside. You know, and when it's cold outside, you can't really throw the ball. And Indianapolis doesn't really have a strong running game. They have to rely on throwing the ball. And that's why I'm more excited about the way this team is built and why this, uh, I feel that Steve Young was wrong in his assessment that the, uh, the Super Bowl and the, play, uh, the road to the Super Bowl, actually, is going to be won through the air. It may be true for the NFC because I think both NFC teams uh, of the top and the top play in a dome. But AFC, it 
depends on who has the strongest running game and has the best defense because we play a lot more games outdoors. Now, when uh, Miami, that's a totally different ball game. You know, if Miami, uh, it's still outdoors, so the dome people, they, they have to keep in mind of the elements. Miami does get windy. It gets rainy. Uh, and, you know, this is something that since I've been in Miami in the uh, winter months, I can tell you that from time to time it does get cold down there. So or it gets colder. It doesn't get as cold. So, with all these people talking about it going through the air, Steve Young saying it's going to go through the air, I'm just saying, I respect you, Steve Young, I just have to disagree with you. Because rain, cold weather, and wind are great equalizers when it comes to uh, teams who love to throw the ball. It's going to take running the ball to, uh, to get the wins, to ensure the wins. Now, if it happens to be nice weather, which it could be, and it's not raining, you still have to keep in mind for the wind, but if it's not, say it's not a big windy day. Cincinnati has a quarterback that can make all the throws that Drew Brees can make, can make all the throws that Tom Brady can make, all the throws that Peyton Manning can make. We have wide receivers that can run, uh, well, we have at least one wide receiver who can run the routes necessary. We have a wily veteran wide receiver who is new to our system, but can still run the, uh, you know, can still run really good routes and get open. Uh, Caldwell, you know, even though I'm mad at him for fumbling the ball, he's been a hero in a couple of our games. So, yeah, he's one to think about. You know, he's definitely one that I think about when it comes to uh, our aerial attack. So we can run the ball. We can stop the run. And in the event that everything, uh, you know, the stars align and it looks like it might be a passing game and it goes into a passing attack, we can actually throw the ball. So... I don't see any team having that much of an edge over us come the playoffs and in the playoff uh, and Super Bowl. And I know that it's going to be really interesting this hearing Marshall Falk, Warren Sapp, Steve Young basically have to eat crow and admit that they were wrong about the Bengals. And you know, that's what I really like about this year is the fact that there's a possibility that we will win out and win the Super Bowl, which is something that, in years past, never even thought of. I mean, I was born in 1980, so I was there for the 88 games, but well, for the 80 games, but they were such vague memories. But the Bengals could do it this year. And with what we have and, you know, the focus that this team has and the chip that they have on your shoulder in which they don't want the praise, they want people to hate them, I really really like the way this team is uh, put together so this is my second video for the day uh, my first video was about the Lions this is my second video kind of about how important the next few games are and what's got me really excited so uh, I'll probably do one more just for the hell of it but uh, right now I'm just going to leave it at this who day I'm out